there's gonna have to be a little bit of a straightening of the right leg here. Not much, and that doesn't mean that I'm gonna slide my legs and sway and do all kinds of things where I'm moving back and forth laterally, but I am gonna have a little bit of a straightening in my right leg and the, and the backswing. As I'm completing my backswing, I'm gonna have a little bend, and then I'm gonna have a straightening in my left leg. So let's go over that a little bit more in detail here. Let's go ahead and set up, and what I want you to do is just grab a club and put it across your hips. As you go into the backswing, I want to feel like you're pushing a little bit to straighten that right leg. You'll notice how this part goes up and back, and that rotate my, rotates my hip in the backswing. As I do that, my left leg is coming forward slightly. Now in the downswing, I'm going to get a little bit of flex to get my knees wide and apart, and then I'm going to do the opposite. So my left leg is going to straighten as my right leg comes forward. So if I'm going toward the camera here, this will be my backswing. Right leg straightens as my left leg bends. Start of the downswing, my legs separate and they both bend. And then as I come on through, now my left leg straightens. This would kind of be when I'm releasing the club, what we call our straight line release in the top speed golf system. That allows my left hip to come on around when I straighten this left leg up and the right knee comes forward. And as I go to the full finish, now I'm just coming all the way on around to where my belt buckle is facing the target. The momentum is going to carry me that way. And again, my left leg is nice and straight. So do a good 15 to 20 reps. I recommend putting the club on the ground, just grabbing with your shoulders. And I want you to focus on right leg straightening, straightening in the backswing, knees bending it to start the downswing, and then left leg straightening as you come to that good full finish. Again, we're gonna go right leg straight, knees bent, left leg straight coming on through. Do a good 15 to 20 reps of that to really feel that motion as you're coming on around. That's gonna help you to, to get the overall flow of what's happening. Once you've done that 15 to 20 reps, now take out the pausing. You just wanna make that one fluid motion. So you kinda of feel like there's a little bit of a down and then up as I'm swinging back and through. I'm loading into the ground and then coming up. So go back, loading, and then coming up there. So there's that kind of pivot action, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, as you're going back and through to really allow you to rotate. Knock out a good 15 or 20 of those without any pausing. Then go ahead and hit a few shots. If you go to the driving range, put that together with a golf ball to get those hips, pip, those hips to pivot back and through. Okay, so piece number two, we're just gonna take it one step higher than that. We're gonna go from the legs up to the hips. That's the part that we actually wanna have rotate. Now, when that right leg straightens, if I put this, belt, this club across my belt again, when that right leg straightens, you'll notice how in the backswing, my right hip gets a little higher than my left hip. Then as I start in the downswing, those are gonna level out. So again, my knees bend, my knees are nice and wide here. I'm athletic, almost like I'm a shortstop playing, playing in the baseball. And my hips are level. And then as I come on through, now my left hip is gonna be higher than my right hip as we're looking from this down the line angle. Let me go ahead and turn toward the camera so you can see this a little bit better. Here's the back swing. Now my hips are tilted, my right hip is higher. There's my start of my downswing, legs apart, hips level. And as I come on through, left leg straightens, that pushes my left hip higher as I'm coming on through there. So you can imagine, that sounds complicated. That's one of the most simple things that can happen. I'm just having my hips kind of tilted forward and they're rotating in an arc or a plane. Kind of imagine a plane of glass here. They're rotating around those back and through. That's what's gonna build a lot of consistency there. So again, let's do 15 or 20 reps, going pausing, right hip higher, hip square, left hip higher as you're coming on through to the finish. You can let the arms come on around. Once you've done a few of those, grab a club, do the exact same thing. Right hip, sink into the ground, left hip high. So we're going right hip high, sink into the ground, left hip high, and when you have that club, just make it all one fluid motion as you're coming on through there. Once you're comfortable with that, that's gonna give you a lot of, again, it's gonna feel like there's some kind of momentum to the swing. Like it's a little bit effortless as those hips go back and through, and it's gonna allow you to be nice and solid as you're hitting these golf shots. Okay, now finally, there's a couple cheats here that we have to test if you're, you're struggling to get your hips to work like this. So you can see that I'm letting my hips rotate on through. Let's say, hey Clay, I'm a little bit tight. You know, I'm getting a little bit up in age. I can't move like I used to. I really want something that feels like it's easier to make this happen. I got a couple tests here for you to perform. So first, let's take our right leg and just put it right out in front of you. Lock your knee, keep that straight, and then see how far you can rotate your right leg inward. So here's my toe straight ahead. I need to be able to rotate my right leg inward and then also see how much you can rotate your right leg outward. What that's actually doing is it's testing in my pelvis here how much my femur can rotate in and out. 
Now it's very important in the golf swing as I'm trying to rotate here and get this hip rotation on the back swing. If I can't internally rotate my right foot, so if my right foot can't turn in, then that's very difficult or it's impossible to do when my foot is facing forward. So as I rotate my hips, essentially what's happening there is my foot is turning in in relationship to my hips. So basically it's a complicated way of saying, see if you can turn your foot in. If you can't, then you need to go ahead and flare your right foot out at a dress. You just have to do that or you're not gonna be able to rotate your hips. Same thing with your left foot. If I hold my left foot up, lock my left knee, can I turn my left foot in? If I can't, then I have to flare out my left foot as I'm setting up here so that when I turn on through, I can get these hips to rotate. It's not really, I mean, it's just your, your pure anatomy. If I cannot rotate that internally, I have to flare out my feet or my hips are not gonna be able to rotate here. Now, if you're super flexible, you're Adam Scott or Tiger Woods or Rory McIlroy and they can turn their foot any way they want to, now I have options. I could set up with my feet square, I could set up with them open, tons of hip mobility, you don't really have to worry about it. But make sure you take that test. If you can't rotate those feet, we need to flare them, that way that when we swing, the hips can actually work.